I had turkey pastrami, corned beef, Reuben's, lox and bagels, chicken, tuna fish. I don't even know what I was eating. The trip was pretty intense. I mean, forest fires. I ended up going through a monsoon in Phoenix. So it was raining like cats and dogs for days. It was pretty intense. I'm Stephen Good. I'm doing a 75 day, 16,000 mile motorcycle trip to visit the best Jewish deli in every state. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I first got notice of the article from Nasher magazine that listed the top delis in every state. And I think a friend of mine sent it to me and said, you gotta go do this trip. I've done three prior trips, so I started laying it out. And then my wife said, well, if you're gonna do this as a deli trip, you should reach out to Mazone, a non-for-profit, a Jewish organization that fights hunger in the United States. I reached out to Mazone, and they loved the idea. Once they stopped laughing, because you know, Jewish biker isn't exactly high on the list of common type of, of motorcycle riders. I got into motorcycle riding when I was about 16 years old. My wife and I started doing long distance trips in like 1980, you know, three, four, five thousand miles. I've ridden in the Alps all over the United States and Canada. In the past, I've done the four corners of the United States, which is about 13,700 miles. I've done all 48 states. And then in 2017, I did all the national parks in the lower continental United States. That one was 17,000 miles. It's been a wonderful way to meet people. There's a ton of people here that are friends of mine through motorcycle. Cantor's gonna offer a special blessing. It's called it Tefillah Hadera. May we be blessed as we go on our way. I'm part of a Jewish motorcycle group. There's 33 chapters internationally. Chapters obviously in the United States. We've got chapters in Canada, Australia, Israel. Shalom and Chrome is one. Highway Riders is the local chapter here in Chicago, which is a play on words, because the word chai in Hebrew means 18 or to life. Schlepp means to go from place to place. You're usually carrying heavy objects. You're schlepping, you're carrying something from point A to point B. 42 delis are on the list, so there's a lot of schlepping going on between Manny's and the last deli in Milwaukee. It was said that we had to delay it, but actually maybe it's a benefit because now I'll be able to bring PR to all these locally owned restaurants and get the word out about hunger in America. I was told that before COVID, there were like 38 million Americans that were food insecure, meaning they didn't know where their next meal was coming from. I was just told last week that that number because of COVID jumped to 80 million. Whether you're in New York or California or Kansas, it doesn't matter. There are people who are having issues. My goal is to take the back roads and not the highways. And the back roads, you really find out what America's all about. The best part of riding a motorcycle long distance is just the amount of beauty that you see in this country. When I did my national parks trip, I joked with my wife, I said, I felt like in one day I saw the Sistine Chapel, the David, and the Mona Lisa, all on the same day. I've never had the time to do trips like this, and now that I sort of took a step back and retired, I am uh, blessed with the idea of being able to do this type of a trip. Number 42 out of 42. Unbelievable. How did it feel to come home? I love it. It's great. I, you know what? Sleep in my own bed, take, take a shower in my own shower, know where everything's at, it's terrific. The trip was pretty intense. I mean, forest fires, I ended up going through a monsoon in Phoenix. I ended up in Texas hitting a water puddle. It was, it was pretty intense. So I'm at my brother's place in Scottsdale. I had a travel case and it was the night before I was going to leave and I was about to, you know, start pulling stuff out to make sure to repack it. And I look down and I see a scorpion about this big move. Scared the living daylights on me. I took a picture of it. So I must have checked under the bed 25 times before I went to bed that night to make sure that there was no more scorpions. 
The day started at 6, ended at 10. Every one of them had a story, had its own personality. Every single one of them was basically family owned. Herschel's in Philadelphia was named after this guy's uncle who saved his father from the Nazis when they lived in a small town in Poland. The Nazis had rolled into town. The older brother Herschel realized what was going on, ran home, grabbed the little brother, and ran off into the woods, and they spent six years in a camp on the Soviet side. They survived, they went to New York and started working for a deli in New York, and then ultimately, when Herschel died, the nephew opened up Herschel's in his uncle's honor. Because without the uncle, his father wouldn't have made it. Every one of them had a story. They either started last year, like the place in, I think it was North Carolina, it was Mookie's. Atman's in Baltimore celebrated their 105th year anniversary, third generation. It was a fascinating cross-section of America. The most unique deli was New Orleans, Stein's Deli. It's run by an attorney who didn't want to be an attorney. He's, I think, 48 years old. His business card is modeled like after Starbucks, it looks like. His title is owner slash head jerk. It's like an old hippie that's running a deli. He knew every client that walked in, they loved him. It was just a lot of fun. You know, my wife coined the word new friends, old food. And that's really what I took away. When we sat down in a restaurant, there'd be five or six or 10 people, and we'd start making introductions. And all of a sudden, they would start to realize, oh, I'm friends with so-and-so. And oh, you go to that temple. Oh, OK, you must know, and of course. Oh, I'm his uncle or whatever. So it was, it was really kind of cool. Here I'm sitting in Seattle outside with an unrelated party. I happened to mention this guy's name, and there's a connection in Boston. Doesn't get any further apart in the United States than Boston and Seattle. Most of my travels were small towns. The delis were typically in the larger towns like Milwaukee, Chicago, Houston. But between those delis, I took back roads. And that's where you see, that's really where you see America. There's a lot of need and there's a lot of hunger out there. But, you know, we don't see it on a daily basis because we're not looking for it. I was in Utah on this one road and I'm driving along and it's just beautiful. The road just was meandering back and forth. There was a rapid river running on the left. I was in the mountains and I just sort of teared up. And, you know, how blessed I was to be physically able to do this, financially able to do this, have a family that supported me doing this and have the opportunity to ride around the country and make new friends. It just all sort of hit me that, you know, how lucky I am to, to be able to do this trip and have this opportunity.